Today, here in Manipur, there is no democracy. There is a dictatorial rule in the state. We have seen that senior editors, university and college professors, journalists, bloggers, many young people and common citizens were pulled up by the state police under the BJP regime. And some of them were slaves under National Security Act. Friends, we know that there is a war which is going on, which is called as war against drugs. But this war against drugs is going on, but there, but there is an absence of war against drug lords. We would like to know that who are the real owner or who are the real owners of these contraband drugs which are being named by the state police. And these contraband drugs amount to thousands of crores or even hundreds of crores on daily basis. A few crores contraband drugs worth few crores of rupees in the international market have been caught regularly, almost in regular intervals of time. But unfortunately, there has been no war against drug lords. Why there has been no war against drug lords? And why there is only war against drugs? We will like to know this from the government. Friends, in the recent Palil drugs case, in the recent Palil drugs case, we have seen that huge contraband drugs worth crores of rupees were naped from the state police, <coughs> excuse me, by the state police. So imagine if the drugs were caught from the state police by the state police, how can we expect that there will be a fair investigation if the Home Department is going to investigate into the matter? So since we want to have justice. We want to have a fair investigation into that. Therefore, we have demanded for a CBI inquiry into the matter. We demanded that CBI should investigate into the Palel drugs contraving case. But after the Congress demand for CBI, <coughs> we have heard from the newspapers, we have heard from social media that there appears to be an FIR being falsely registered against our PCC president and MLA, Sri K. Meghachandra, an ex candidate of Kaksing Assembly constituency, T. S. Kennedy. <coughs> Excuse me. This registration of FIR against the state congress, who is also an MLA, is a clear indication of scuttling freedom of speech and expression and freedom of movement under the current BJP regime. This act of present state government in the state shows that the incumbent state government, the incumbent chief minister is the weakest chief minister in history of Manipur for scuttling the voice of the, democracy, of the opposition in democracy by using state machinery. The Congress, the people of Manipur will fight to restore the freedom of speech and expression and freedom of movement in Manipur and we will unitedly fight for democracy and save our people and our state from being converted into a regime of dictatorship. The Therefore, we from the Congress, we are going with the people to bring justice to people's court. We will fight with the people of Manipur that in the exposing, in exposing the true owner or ownership in exposing the identity of the war of the drug lords we will start our movement with the people of manipur we will not keep quiet and this we have to do it in order to save the future of our future generations the future of our state and we hope that the people of manipur Will definitely extend full cooperation to us in our fight against drug loads.
once we start fighting against drug lords, once we start detecting the true owner or owners behind these drugs crimes, then only we will be able to put an end to this drug menace in the entire state of Manipur. Thank you.